Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Wamayu. So today I'm taking you through CRE Form 1, Lesson 21. Our topic today is about covenant. And our subtopic today we are going to look at God's covenant with Abraham. God's covenant with Abraham. Welcome. So we start with our lesson goal, or our lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, then I should be able to explain the covenant between God and Abraham. Two, by the end of the lesson, then I should be able to give the importance of God's covenant with Abraham. We look at God's covenant with Abraham. So this covenant was established after God appeared to Abraham in a vision. This covenant was established after God appeared to Abraham in a vision. During the visitation of God, Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90 years old. He was promised a son. Then Abraham wanted assurance from God. He wanted assurance about God's promises of a son. So God told him to bring some items for sacrifices. So let us look at the items that Abraham was told to bring. He was told to bring a three-year-old heifer. He was told to bring a three-year-old goat. He was told to bring a three-year-old ram, a dove, and a pigeon. Those are the items of sacrifices that Abraham was asked to bring. Abraham then was to cut these animals into two halves and place them opposite each other. So Abraham was to cut these animals into two halves and place them opposite each other. The birds were not to be split. The birds were not to be slip, sli split or cut into two. After it was dark on in the evening, smoking fire and a flaming torch suddenly appeared and passed between the pieces of animals. This when Abraham had fallen into a sleep. A smoking fire and a flaming torch suddenly appeared and passed between the pieces of animals. Towards evening, Abraham fell into a deep sleep. While he slept, the Lord appeared to him. It's God himself who passed through the sacrifices and bound himself to keep the promises. So. God appeared to him and the way God passed the, the smoking fire and a flaming torch that appeared and passed between the pieces of animals was God himself showing that passed through the sacrifices and bound himself to keep the promises so that is the it's also is the covenant between God and Abraham. Let's look at the importance of the covenant. God bound himself in a personal relationship with human beings. God bound himself in a relationship between him between with human beings. As God passed through the meat, he showed Abraham he would always protect him. He showed that he would always protect him by passing through the meat begins a lasting relationship between God and all the nation of the earth. This was that be the beginning of a lasting relationship between God and all the nations of the earth. Throughout this covenant, God was initiating his plan of salvation for humankind. It's throughout this covenant that God was initiating his plan of salvation for humankind. The promises made to Abraham were fulfilled in New Testament, blood of the Lamb, that is, the death of Jesus Christ. The promises made to Abraham were fulfilled in the New Testament, blood of the Lamb, that is, the death of Jesus Christ. It emphasizes the importance of faith, followed by obedience that Abraham shared. It emphasizes the importance of faith, followed by obedience that Abraham shared. So we have looked at the covenant between Abraham and God. We have also seen the importance of the covenant between God and Abraham. 
So that is the end of our topic today, of our lesson today. And we have an activity. Answer the following questions. Question one, describe briefly the covenant between God and Abraham. Question two, give a list of items God requested Abraham to provide during the covenant. Question three, describe the importance of the covenant between God and Abraham. Then for our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education Students Book 1, KLB 3rd edition. For this and more, if maybe you have a question, opinion, you may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can also find us on YouTube, Elimi TV. Find us on Facebook, Elimi TV, and on Twitter at Elimi TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining us. Till next time, bye-bye.